السلام عليكم ورحمة الله in this short video we are going to talk about uh, how to design a Google form actually we are going to uh, implement or apply the steps that were mentioned in the PowerPoint presentation as you remember we said that we start normally by searching for Google Drive this is Google Drive uh, it appears by clicking on this grid here then drag to click on Google Drive this one so you are going to be led to this uh, screen sometimes it may let you to an introductory screen which is this yes it is an introduction to Google Drive this one uh, you can click here on go to drive and it will take you directly to the logging uh, or logging in or signing a page so you have to type the first part of your email and click on uh, next it will take you to the password field or to the uh, um, uh, mobile uh, um, uh, application that takes you to uh, the, the drive this is the interface of Google uh, Drive as you remember we said click on new like this and go down to more then select Google Forms click on this small arrow then click on black blank form it will take you to this page so this is an empty page of Google Form it looks like this you have to type the title of your form here so you select uh, untitled form which is uh, uh, the default title and type, uh, type the title of your yes of your uh, form or questionnaire we are going to uh, design a questionnaire about reading strategies click here for the introduction if you remember the introduction was mentioned in the presentation here this one so yeah this questionnaire aims to gather information or data about uh, reading strategies so you can click it on here and click on based so this is my title if i click it, it will change to the title of the questionnaire now this is where you insert the questions there are many types of questions you have multiple choice which is the default one and by this we use uh, what we uh, want or what the type that we want to um, apply our form by if you remember it is or it was like a scale type of five uh, options we have short answer questions paragraphs multiple choice check boxes we have drop down menus linear scale and many many uh, uh, types that you can try but we are going to work on multiple choice so here we type uh, the question or the statement if you remember we have these statements one two three four five statements let us copy the first one of course you can copy and paste or you can um, uh, yeah you can you can type your questionnaire so I'm going to, to copy and paste my first question which I preview the full text before starting reading okay okay now these are the option always often occasionally or rarely or never so I'm going to insert them so I'm going to start by always going down to now uh, often and click as you see when I click here there appear another option often sometimes if I click here rarely and if I click here never so automatically everything is ready okay so it is very smart always often sometimes early never now this is the first question I can duplicate the question I mean to make it or make a copy of it like this 
So what I want to change is just the question because the answers here are the same. So I'm going to click here, copy the second question, okay, and paste the second question here. There is a spelling mistake in I, so I'm going to change it to be I need for reading, and this is the second question. So very fast, I make two questions, then duplicate, repeat the step, copy, paste, okay, I can duplicate, okay, I use dictionary to find meaning of new words, so I can type this, I use dictionary, of course it is easy to copy and paste, but I want um, to show you that it is possible, of course, to type. Now the same, uh, the meaning, it is not meaning, yeah, the, as you say, I have uh, the options, so I can also go and duplicate. By the way, there are some questions that we forgot or I forgot to enter, but there is no problem. Let me just copy and paste this and tell you about them. So this is dictionary and this is dictionary and now I have five questions. If I go to the presentation, if you remember, I have question which is about demographic information, level, gender, and GBA. So uh, how to put them? In Google form, it is easy to insert the question. Then after that, you can uh, hover your mouse here and change the order if you want to change the order of this or if you want to change the order of the whole question like this if you want to make this the first one you can if you make uh, to, to just drag and drop if you want to change the order so there is no problem at all let me just click on the first question here okay and add a question now I add a question here this question is not multiple choice. I want an answer, short answer, for example, because there is a question here about level, level one, two, three, or gender, male or female, or GPA. Now, because I have levels from one to seven, sorry, to eight, or the first to eight, I can make it multiple choice, no problem, or I can make it check boxes. So, level, so the first option is first. The second option will be second. The third will be third. The fourth will be up to the eighth one. So the students have to choose between these so as to give me an information about the level of students who respond to my uh, questionnaire. Now I want this question to be before this one. So I just press here and drag and drop. Okay, let me now duplicate this, okay? and type the question or statement of gender. I have two gender which are male or female. So what will happen to those? I will just delete or remove them. So it will be male or female like this. Finally, GPA will be a short answer question. So you can add a question from here or you can duplicate and after that change. Let me duplicate. Okay. And the GPA of the student and this is a short answer. Okay. Now the GPA is a short answer but it should not be text. It should be uh, 
uh, uh, number. So I should, I should make what is called validation, and I should ask students to, uh, to type a number which is less than or equal to 5. So there should be a number here, and this number should be less than or equal to 5. Okay? Custom error text. If, for example, a student type that his GPA is 6 or 5.5, .5, so I will type a message that says, your GPA is wrong. It should be less than 5, like this. I hope you understand this. Now, the questions, of course, are uh, uh, either optional or obligatory. Optional questions can be answered or not. Obligatory questions should or must be answered. If you want your answer, your question to be obligatory, just click on required here, required and here, okay? If the GPA is not important, we leave it, no problem. Now let us here, click on required, because I want the students to, to type about reading strategies. Sometimes you may ask about uh, some questions which are not important to be included. Okay, but for example, uh, 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 if you want to, uh, to in your research to differentiate between the reading strategies by male and female, you should make it required. If GPA is just to give you information, you can uh, leave it optional. But if in your research question there is a question about the relationship between GPA and reading strategies, for example, you must make it uh, uh, required. When we click on require, there is a little asterisk or uh, star uh, uh, in the questions like this one. Now, we have this. This is the form, but it is in the editing mode. I mean, students will not be able to see it like this. If you want to see how it looks like, click on this icon for previewing your questionnaire. So it will appear like this. Yes, so this is the title, Reading Strategies. I am a student, so I am in the, uh, in the third level. Um, I am a male student. My GPA is 4.5. Uh, I preview the full text before I start reading. Yeah, often I do that. I estimate how much time I need for reading. Rarely, not always. I take notes while I read. Yeah, always. But I use dictionary to find meaning. Sometimes I do that, sometimes. I feel nervous when I do not understand the point. Always I feel that. So students will click on submit. There is a thank you message that will appear to the respondent. You can change it, by the way. Your response has been recorded. You can change this if you want. OK, now let me uh, close this. I will be back to it, but now I close it. Now look here. We have responses. Responses now become one. This is my response. So check it. It will appear like this. See? So there is only one response. OK, this is for the number and percentage. The gender is a male, GPA is like this, and this will be changed as we will see sooner, inshallah, after you practice. Okay, now if, you, if I want to publish, um, uh, alas, I finished everything and I want to send uh, and publish the, the, the questionnaire to students, I click here on the I icon and from here I go to the address per I think you did not say the address per so I select it and click on uh, copy 
It will look like this, by the way. So let me paste it in a new file in Notepad. So this is my, yeah, this is my address of the, if I click here, it will take me directly to the, uh, uh, to the questionnaire. If I make a new um, web page and paste it here, it will take me direct, directly to the questionnaire. See? Yeah. So now it is ready. But sometimes we may feel that it is too long. We can shorten it by using Google Shortener or uh, um, any URL shorteners. Or we can also make a good idea by making a QR code. Like, uh, let me check. So if I have this, for example, QR uh, Code Monkey, this is a website to together, uh, uh, sorry, to generate QR codes. So I just paste the link. Okay, so I choose a URL. I select here, delete it and copy and paste and create my url which is this one yes so i can download the qr code save and here we are if you scan or any student scan this by your mobile phone you are going to be taken directly to the uh, reading strategy questionnaire that we generate. I hope everything is clear. After you design the, uh, the, the questionnaire successfully, we are going to talk on how to collect information and analyze this information uh, 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 to um, present our results for the research. Thank you very much.